Claremont High School's class of 1968 is planning its 50th reunion. And the same people on the reunion committee were interviewed by News 8 back in 1978 for their 10th high school reunion. Well, in tonight's Sevilly Zone, Jeff digs into archive footage and fond memories. You must be a lot older than us. <laughs> Here at Fast Times Bar and Grill, the Claremont class of 68 is planning their 50th reunion, just like they did so many years ago. Flip back in time and you'll find Tony Pulley concerned about the Vietnam War. You had to worry about the draft, and the draft played a big part in a lot of people's lives. Tony never went to war, and according to him, he never aged either. It's amazing how little everyone has changed. I mean, everyone looks the same, if, if you think about it, really. Susan Ferrara, the high school's vice president, sees it differently. To me, it seems like a long time ago. I don't know, because so much has happened. News 8's Doug McAllister interviewed the same students as they planned their 10-year reunion when Susan had this to say about the passage of time. Yes, uh, I feel that um, there's plenty of time when you get out of high school and into college or whatever endeavor you're going to be in to grow up and be serious and worry about the problems of the world. When Susan hears those same words now. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know if I've ever been really serious. But Kathy Marston sure was. I never thought I would have had three children. I thought I would have graduated from college. I never thought I would have been married for nine years <laughs> right now. <laughs> Kathy's life happened in a hurry, and if she could talk to herself at age 18. Just don't have kids that early <laughs> and spread your life out a little bit. 50 years later, and they've all learned so much. Um, I don't have any pearls of wisdom. Um, Why the face? Because <laughs> I don't have any pearls of wisdom. But. Jim Woodard sure does. Don't get involved in Facebook, because that's how she found me. Okay. <laughs> the class of 68 just turned 68, so they'll let their younger selves have the last word about life. It's not what I thought it would be, but it's it's really good. It's I'm really happy. In the Zevely zone. Keep in contact with your friends from school. Jeff Zevely, CBS News 8. Oh, you gotta love that old footage. The Claremont class of 1968 will celebrate its 50th reunion on September 21st. More than 200 people are expected to attend.